Hi everybody, welcome back to SE Aviation and today I'm going to show you how to load airways into flight plans in X-Plane Mobile for the Garmin 530, Garmin 1000 and the Advanced Airliner FMC. Enjoy! So, as I said, X-Plane Mobile has three types of flight management computers. The Garmin 530 or G530, used by the Cessna 172, the Baron B58 and the Beechcraft King Gear C90. Then the Garmin 1000 or G1000, used by the Cirrus Vision Jet SF50 and the Cirrus SR22. And finally, the Advanced Airliner FMC, used by the Bombardier Sierra J200, the Boeing 737-800, the McDonnell Douglas MD80 and the Boeing 747-400. Now, before we get into how to load airways, let's first review four important aspects of them. First, for flight planning purposes, airways consist of an entry waypoint and an exit waypoint. Now, because airways are actually made of many waypoints, the entry and exit ones are the ones you choose. They don't have to be the initial and final waypoints of that particular airway. For example, airway Whiskey 36 goes from waypoint Ambal to waypoint Dakmo and passes through waypoints Vassil, Nurso and Pollux. But you don't need to choose Ambol and Dagmo as entry and exit waypoints. You can enter via Vasil and exit on Nurso. It's perfectly okay. Second, remember that not every airway can be flown by every type of aircraft. So check the airway designator and prefixes to check if you can fly it. In case you don't know what airway designator and prefixes mean, I got a great full video on that topic right here. Third, some airways can be flown from A to B, others only from B to A, and some others in any direction. So check for that by looking for an arrow overlaid in the airway designator and prefix. You can do that on the free tool skyvector.com or on the PED Navigraph Charts tool. And fourth, airways of minimum and maximum altitudes. Check that the allowed altitude interval for the particular airways you are flying is suitable for your flight. You can also check that on the free tool skyvector.com or on the PET Navigraph Charts tool. Now let's see how to load airways. For the Garmin 530 you cannot, it's as easy as that. If you want to load an airway you have to manually input all the waypoints of it. For example, if I wanted to fly from Oceanside, California right here to Palm Springs, California, next to the thermal vortex, right here, I will have to manually input all the waypoints of airway Victor 208. That takes me from Oceanside all the way to the thermal vortex. To do that, I'm gonna go to the Garmin 530, press the flight plan button labeled FLP, tap on the cursor to activate it, and then with two fingers rotate it to select the next empty waypoint. Now I'm going to select the identifier for the Oceanside Vortec, O, C, and there you go, Oceanside. Press enter, accept it. Now the next waypoint would be the Juliet Vortec, Juliet Lima, India. So with one finger again, Julian, so letter J. Then with two fingers, rotate the outer knob to move the cursor, Lima, and then India. There you go, Julian, enter. And then our last waypoint, the Thermal Vortex. That code is Tango Romeo Mike. So again, with one finger, Tango, two fingers, move the cursor, select Romeo, and there you go, Thermal. Enter, accept it. And as you can see, we have manually input the three waypoints of Airway Victor 208, Ocean, Julian, and Thermo. Now, as you can see, in x G530, there is no way to directly load Airway Victor 208 that would take me from uh, the Oceanside Vortex to Thermal without having to manually input right here the Julian Vortex. Now, in this case, I only had to input one extra waypoint, Julian. But sometimes, Airways are so long that if I wanted to load them into this Garmin 530, it would take quite a while because there would be many waypoints. Now that's of course way easier for the Garmin 1000. So I'm right here with the Cirrus SF50. I'm going to show you how to load airways with the same example. 
Ocean side to thermal VR with Victor to Charlotte. This one is much easier. Just go right here, press the flat plan button, and insert the first waypoint, only the first waypoint. Ocean side in this case. So O C N. And then while having the cursor on the next empty waypoint, which it is right here, tap menu. Scroll down until you see load airway. This is very important. Tap enter and then select the airway. In this case, picture 208. Enter and now select your exit waypoint. Now, our exit waypoint is the thermal vortex. You might say, oh my gosh, what's happening? The thermal vortex is not there. Well, it is. It's just a bit confusing because you have to scroll up like this. And there you go. There's thermal. Select it, press enter, load. And there you go. All the waypoints of Airway Victor 208 from Oceanside to the Thermal Vortex. It passes through Vista, Robin, Bunda, Julian, Warney, and the Thermal Vortex. And this is how you load Airways in the Garmin 1000. Now for the Advanced Airliner FMC, you first want to make sure that right here in the default index page, when you go to root menu, pilot route list and flight plan, you have set origin and destination airports. In this case, we don't have the destination. So let's go Kilo, Tango, Romeo, Mike. Insert that. The flight number is not necessary. In this case, let's just go SCF for SC Aviation. And in that first waypoint, let's put the first waypoint of the airway we are intending to fly. In this case, the Oceanside Vortac. So the identifier is OCN Oscar Charlie November. So go ahead and type Oscar Charlie November. Insert that. Then go to the next page and insert the name of the airway. In this case, Victor 208, as we have done with the past examples. So Victor 208, you're gonna get a discontinuity message. And so in the next waypoint, insert the final waypoint of the airway. In this case, it's the thermal vortex. Identify Tango Romeo Mike. So Tango Romeo Mike. And if you go to Lex, you can see that we have now all the waypoints of Airway Victor 208 inserted automatically. Oceanside, Vista, Robin, Bando, the Julian Vortec, Warney, and the Thermal Vortec, which are exactly these waypoints. Oceanside, Vista, Robin, Bondo, then the Julian Vortec, right here, Warney, and the Thermal Vortec. It's way easier in the Advanced Airliner FMC. Dear aviation enthusiasts, that is all for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.